Hello everyone, I'm Sandy Anastasi, Psychic Channel, Intuitive Astrologer, and Soul Coach. I'm here to talk to you about my Psychic Protection Tip number 44. I'm so glad you tuned in this evening, or this afternoon, or this morning, whenever it is and wherever you are, because this Psychic Protection Tip is so very, very important for everyone. Since this psychic protection tip is my 44th tip, and 44 is a master number that is an 8 when 4 plus 4 are added together, I decided to use this tip to discuss power. Specifically, this tip is about what personal power really is. It's about how to create it in your life and how to use it properly and in the right ways and places. Of course, that means you will need to be aware of the people around you who may be gathering power in vampiric ways and using it in the wrong ways as well. Note that it's not your responsibility to police them, only to identify them so that you will be able to exclude them from your life. Honestly, when all of us are aware of what personal power is, and when we can create it and use it ourselves, the charlatans looking for shortcuts will simply cease to exist. So then, what's personal power? Most of us see people as powerful when they occupy a high position in government or business, or when they are the head of a family, a group, or an organization or when they have a lot of things or a lot of money. We tend to see people as being powerful when they have control over other people or money or things. The more control they have, the more power we perceive them to be. But how do they get that power? How do they become powerful? That's simple. People have to give them that power in order for them to have it or they have to generate it themselves as energy. Listen closely. What makes us give power and control to one person and not to another? Some few of us will look at a person's abilities, skills, the history of achievement, and so on. But most of us make a split-second choice and hand our power over to the person who has, get this, the most charisma. So, people who are charismatic have a better chance of gathering personal power than those who do not have that elusive quality. People who are naturally charismatic have either learned or brought into life with them an ability to tap into the life force energy around us all the time so that they almost seem to glow with it. We are attracted to those naturally charismatic people because of the positive energy they exude. You see, energy does equal power. Why? Because we give our energy to those charismatic people who have so much natural energy. It's interesting that natural charismatics often are so comfortable with the energy they project that they remain unconscious of the personal power it automatically confers on them. Many attract people who are more interested in their power potential, in their charisma, than they are in the actual person. So often, naturally charismatic people end up being used by power mongers as a stepping stone for people who don't have charisma but who are aiming for high places and are gathering the power to get there any way they can. Not all people in powerful positions come by their power naturally. That's unfortunate, but it's true. Some climbed to powerful positions by using the natural high energy of others of the natural charismatics around them. There are also many folks among us that have acquired their power by working hard to attain what other people want and then gathering energy and power through the projected respect 
or even envy of other people. Those folks have learned that when people project strong emotion at them, they can gather that energy and translate it into something similar to that charisma others come by naturally. And whether we're generating positive or emotional energy, that's positive or negative, as long as it's emotional, at that individual who's learned to transform that attention-getting behavior into personal power through your focus, it still works for them. Remember that in your life. Some others use their positions of authority to instill fear or anger in others, and likewise, they will gather those projected emotions and translate them into energy, i.e. power, for themselves. These people are vampires. They're rarely using their positions of power or authority in the service of others. At that point, power becomes simply about getting more power. I think you understand how all this works now. What you should be doing is consciously identifying those people in your world who come by their energy, i.e. power, through theft. And first, stop giving your energy to them. Remember, attention equals energy. Where you put your attention is where your energy goes. Stop paying attention to those people that are trying to take your personal power. Don't give it to them. Take your energy, i.e. your attention, away. Avoid them. If possible, put them out of your life. Meanwhile, you should be consciously working to build your own energy. And that's going to help you to create an aura of personal power yourself in your own life. And you will soon find that people begin to respect and defer to you and to your opinion. They will see you as a leader that they can trust. And the road to your dreams will begin to open easily to you. Build your own energy by creating a healthy lifestyle for yourself by keeping your thoughts positive, by surrounding yourself with positive people, positive situations, and moving step by step into perfect alignment with your own source energy. The more centered, the more aligned, the more comfortable, happy, content you are in your world that you have created for yourself, the more energy you will pull in from your own universal source I hope this tip has been helpful for you. It's my pleasure to meet with you monthly and deliver one of these very wonderful and helpful psychic protection tips. Visit me on my website and visit me elsewhere right here and listen to my 43 preceding psychic protection tips. You're going to find they're all worth listening to. My website is www.sandyanastasi.com. You can find out all about me and my work there, where I'm teaching and appearing and reading and lecturing. Sign up for a reading. Sign up for a class. Don't forget my psychic hour that I do monthly is free. Don't miss it. Sign up for it on my website. And I'm looking forward to talking with you again next month with more psychic protection tips. Oh, and for those of you who want to study with me in person, please remember... My last complete teaching of the Anastasia system of psychic development in person in Tampa, Florida, in the United States, will start this January. If you want to learn from me in person, don't miss it. You can sign up on my website. Thanks so much for coming by. I love working with all of you. Goodbye. Have a wonderful year.